Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, a, a simple little video on um, on these um, mo molds, uh, clay molds. And I have been waiting on this one from IOD. It's called Birdsong, and it finally came. And, and then other little molds here are just some uh, little uh, cake molds, actually, for fondue or, or whatever they use to decorate the top of cakes. But I just thought I would try them uh, with this clay. And as it turns out, they do work. Um, so I'm using the DAS clay today, and I've had some viewers that have kind of sold me on this. Uh, and what I like the most about it is uh, it it doesn't crack easily. And uh, and what I was using uh, did so. And I'm not sponsored by DAS. It's just that um, you know some viewers told me about it, and I tried it, and I really like it. So. I'm starting out with some cornstarch in these molds, and some people do them without the cornstarch. Um, I just feel like it really makes a big difference in how well they come out. So I just take a little brush and brush brush it down into the molds. It kind of helps to use a brush because when there's uh, when there's little uh, details in the mold, it gets down in those grooves well. And then I just kind of dump the the cornstarch out. And then I'm just going to take a uh, little bit of this. I used to try to uh, get plenty to cover the whole mold, but then it, it's just a lot harder for me to work with. So I just started doing it this way, just uh, starting with a small amount and adding to it. And it, it works really well for me. It's, I, I think it works a lot better for me this way. But I'm just doing several of these, and in this video, I'm only going to be using one of them. Um, but I'm just uh, showing you how easily this this clay works. And then uh, I like to do some of these up ahead if I'm going to be using them on flat objects. Now today, we're just going to be taking jars and um, and uh, decorating them with these clay molds and. Um, it's just an easy way to to just take some clay and and just an old jar that uh, that you've emptied and uh, and have almost nothing in your project. So I just thought that would be a good thing to try these on. So simply because I'm I'm trying to do some small videos here and there that I can link to other videos so that if I'm doing a craft that involves, um, say I'm doing a craft that involves these uh, clay molds, but the project takes more time than I want to, to take. I don't want to use a lot of extra time in showing more details on how to do these clays, and I'll just, um, I'll just link them in, in the description. Um, I just think if I have some small videos like this that I can link, uh, it'll make some of the other projects easier to follow uh, without having to make the the um, the video too long. So um, I like to keep some cornstarch in a jar with with a brush in it that just makes it handy when you're when you're doing these and like I said you can do a lot of these extra if you just if you're going to put them on a flat object but if you're going to put them on a round object then they need to be glued on um, you can either put them on the object and let them dry on there and then glue them on but I've always had really good luck just putting the glue on on the um, mold when it's actually fresh and uh, it doesn't give me any problem that way it glues on really well and it dries really well it doesn't keep it from curing and I know people do it different ways but uh, I've always just done it wet and it, it works out really well for me now these were little cameo molds and and just like I was waiting on that bird song mold to come back because it was out of stock. I've been waiting on the cameo mold for quite some time and uh, it just never has come back. But I did find this little cake mold and um, it or the little fondue mold uh, and it, it was in the shape of it had some little cameo shapes on it. So um, 
So I was glad that I found that. And I have the other one back ordered, but who knows when it'll come. So uh, I was really happy to find this. And this particular mold here was a two-piece mold. So it had the frame on the outside. And then it had the little cameo, uh, the little person uh, to to glue in that center and it, it makes it look like a little cameo like i said these are going to be really simple i'm just taking some jars you could use any shape jar you want um but i'm just gluing these molds on and then i let those dry overnight and i'm using uh here i'm using the tight bond quick and thick and just gluing that on, like I said, while it's wet. And then I've let these dry overnight at this point. And, um, and now I am using, um, I am using, uh, the Slick Stick from Dixie Bell. And this will be my second time using this. And I had very good luck both times. Uh, it just takes one coat and it goes on white like this, but then, um, but then once it dries, uh, that paint sticks really well. I know that you've noticed with glass that it, it just doesn't seem to want to cover really good because glass is so slick. Uh, but And then it do, it's easy to come off. And uh, this, is, uh, this really makes a big difference. I was really happy with this. And I do go back and um and paint the bottoms of these jars also when they dry uh but i'm just giving all these jars and and these are just a couple of uh salt shakers that um the lettering i ordered them through a wholesale company and uh, as soon as i washed one i took a set home uh, because I liked the look of it, and it had salt and pepper written on it. But then, as soon as I put them through the dishwasher, they were it was awful. They, it took it right off, and so I didn't want to sell them. So, um, so I just decided that I would just put a mold over that and paint it, and use that as one of my jars or two of my jars since it was a set. Now this one has one of those birds on it, and. Uh, I, I really like the look of the bird molds. And here, you can tell that when I glued this on, uh, it left uh, some space underneath the um, the, the clay mold. And uh, But I'm not worried about that because what the paint doesn't fill in, uh, I'm going to be using a white wax on these, so that will fill it in. But I usually try to glue around the edges really well so that it stays down, but apparently on that bar bird, I didn't get it that well. So, um, But like I said, that's an easy fix. And the three colors that I'm using here, uh, the, the tan is called Sandbar, and um, it's a Dixie Belle color. Um, this green is celery, and that's a Waverly color. And then, uh, and then the pink that I'll be using will be tea rose, and that's a Dixie Belle color. I love decorating jars like this because uh, you can get jars at no cost. Because when you empty your food, you can just use the the food containers and turn them into little vases this way. And, um, or you can use any kind of container. You could even do this on plastic, but, you know, if you're selling it, uh, then obviously jar, a uh, glass jar is, is the best. So again, I'm just giving each of these two coats and, uh, and then I go back once that dries and paint the bottom as well. And then, uh, once all of these jars have dried, uh, then I I go back over them with uh, with a clear coat. Now I use the Rust-Oleum matte finish spray paint. Uh, you could brush a clear coat on. You could brush a, a polycrylic on. Uh, I guess you could even go over them with Mod Podge if you didn't have 
uh, any kind of a sealer. Uh, I like the idea of sealing them before I use a white wax because if you're not careful, especially when you're uh, when you're painting on glass, uh, once you wet that, it it wants to come off easily. So once you clear coat these and let them dry, then you don't have that issue. And you can just really take the brush and rub down into your design and not worry about rubbing any of your color off. So that's why I like to seal it first. I have, um, when I've taken a couple of coats, I have uh, just chanced it and not did the clear coat. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes it doesn't. So I just um, usually like to just go ahead and uh and and take that precaution and then i'm using dixie bell white wax here and i've tried several brands and i really like most of them um, I, I guess i've liked all of them uh, except that if you're using a waverly wax it's really wet and because it's so wet uh, the paint comes off more easily so you you have to really give it a good sealing before you use that uh, so I, I i prefer using these more creamier or pastier waxes uh, but like i said they all do well and even the liquid wax uh, there's times when i like to use it because uh, maybe i want to do some distressing and waxing at the same time and if you're if you want to distress on like on wood uh, then when you rub that wax off, not only are you going to get that wax down in the details, uh, but you're going to rub some of your color off, and that just kind of dis uh, creates a distress along with the white wax. So even the liquid wax, I feel like, has its place. But for these jars, I don't, I don't think I would want to use the more liquid wax. But this, um, this wax, I know I've already sealed these, uh, but if I hadn't already sealed these, uh, then this wax will also seal and protect the paint. Now you could do the same thing here with, uh, with a dark wax. So if you would like those areas that I'm leaving in white, that the white is leaving down in, if you would like those to be darker, then you could just use a brown wax. Um, or, or really any color wax, you can take uh, some clear wax and add a little bit of paint to it and make your wax whatever color you want. But I tend to get hung up on this white wax. I, do, I really like the look of the white wax, especially in the springtime. It just, it really, I feel like really brightens up a color and adds uh, some dimension and, and tones down uh, a color that's too loud. So once I go over all of these with the white wax and wipe them down and let them dry, then I add some little embellishment to the top. I usually just cut the ring, uh, the top ring of a sock off and kind of wrap, just kind of uh, stretch that over the top and then tuck it inside. Uh, that's how I dressed up the top of these and I didn't show that on a video but you can really do anything you don't have you can lay them just like this or you can uh, tie some strips of fabric around the top or um, or glue a piece of lace around the top uh, you can really just do about anything to dress these little jars up but I kind of wanted to just keep it on uh, on these uh, clay molds and how to apply them on these jars. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to do some more of these little videos like this. I'll still do my others, but every now and then I want to do one of these little videos, just a little how-to for uh, just one little area of the craft. And this one, like I said, just happens to be the clay molds. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.